Hey makers, this is Thruveen and this video is very useful for all those Power BI service administrator who are managing the workspaces for their tenant. We all know in Power BI we have two type of workspaces, classic workspaces and modern workspaces. And from 27th April 2022, Microsoft has some scheduled plan for upgradation of classic workspaces. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about which are the few considerations as an admin you need to keep in your mind during this upgrade process. So stay tuned till end. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I am uploading short content on Power Platform. So without further delay, let's get started and talk about the important heads up for classic workspace upgradation. In this blog, couple of dates are mentioned with the overall schedule plan. Now let me explain you the thing in a very easy word. So the first thing is that April 27, 2022. So this is the date where Microsoft will begin the automatic upgrade process for all existing V1 workspace. This will be rolling sequential process so you will see workspace upgraded incrementally. Now, what do we mean by classic workspace? So let's say here I have opened my Power BI service and over here you can see that this is one of the classic workspace. Wherever you have classic workspace, you will be able to see this type of banner where it is showing the upgrade this workspace to get the new feature and improve the security. Now, you need to consider all of this classic workspace for the upgradation process. Now over here there are two type of scenarios comes up into picture. The first scenario is that what if the classic workspace is blank and doesn't have any report, data set, dashboard, anything. So at the time do we need to consider that as a part of upgrade or do we want to delete those workspaces. This is the call for an admin and for that call, we have one of the important setting as an admin we need to set up. For that, you need to click on the setting here and click on the admin portal. Once you click on the admin portal, it will redirect you to the tenant setting. Over here, there is a workspace setting and there is an option called block schedule upgrade of empty workspace. By default, it is enabled, which means that it will delete all the blank classic workspace during the upgradation process. But as an admin, if you wanted to prevent your blank classic workspace, then you need to disable this setting. As I mentioned, by default, during this upgrade process, empty v1 workspaces will be deleted by Microsoft. This will decrease the overhead for admins and will enable users to find that Power BI content more easily. Now as a tenant admin, let's say if you have turned off this feature means that till May 15, 2022, it will preserve all the empty classic workspace. As an admin, you can upgrade those classic workspace manually from 27 to May 15. After May 15, any remaining empty workspace will be treated as follows. If you have turn off this feature means empty v1 workspace will be upgraded to v2 and preserved. That's fine. And if it is enabled means that empty v1 workspace will be deleted. So as an admin, the main thing is that you want to consider this feature if you want to preserve the empty v1 workspace or not. If you want, turn it off. If you don't want, keep it as it is. It will delete all the blank classic v1 workspace. So that's the overall announcement. Now couple of things we need to consider for this deletion process. Whenever this automatic upgradation process will happen, any v2 workspaces are not affected. Also, Office 365 groups associated with v1 workspace will not be affected. It will not delete 
द ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव ग्रुप सो डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल स्ट्रेटेजी एंड ओवरऑल शेड्यूल फॉर क्लासिक वर्क स्पेस अपग्रेडेशन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सेवंथ ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल शेयर दिस वीडियो विद ऑल पावर बी एस सर्विस एडमिन एंड हिट थम्स अप ऑन माई चैनल If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel If you are looking for any consultation this is the website link and if you are looking to follow me on my different social media handles on Twitter and Instagram these are the platform If you are interested for short content on power platform subscribe their channel and show your love over here as well With this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye